slaughtered. Horrible. Another victim. It's obvious, isn't it? There's a Yoma hiding in our village. So what's the plan, then? Once a Yoma's disguised itself as human, there's no way to tell them apart. Maybe we should start rounding up people that look suspicious to us. Who do you have in mind? Well, don't take this the wrong way. I watched my wife get eaten by one of those things, so you better watch your mouth! I didn't mean it like that. The kid's got a point. Look at Kenneth, who was killed this morning. You two live next door to each other. Damn you. Enough with the accusations. We need to stick together here. I don't want to die. What if a Yoma eats my insides while I'm still alive? Quiet. I received a reply this morning. They're willing to send someone to our village. Well, who's coming then? A Claymore. It caused more damage. A Claymore? Claymore? Is this a joke? We don't need those bastards' help. We have no other choice. If I sit on my hands any longer, the entire village could be wiped out. But they're Yoma themselves. I know. But remember, they're the only ones who can spot a Yoma in human form. They're our only hope. Zaki. Hey, Rocky. How did the meeting go? All right. The chief has hired a Claymore to visit us. A Claymore? Yeah. Everyone's a little shaken up about it. But Claymores are the only ones that are capable of defeating Yoma. Wait. So they're like superhuman? Not exactly. They're far from what you would consider human. Claymores are half human, half Yoma. Half human, half Yoma? Wait, Rocky, hold on. Oh. Hey, it's a woman. What? You didn't know about that? You have to be a woman to be a Claymore. Wow. Look, her eyes are silver. Yeah, why do you think they're called silver-eyed witches? Apparently their eyes turn gold whenever they spot a Yoma. Creepy. Let's just hope she doesn't go after one of us. Well, she does have some Yoma in her. I don't understand why the Chief had to send for someone like that. He had to. It just goes to show that it takes a monster to kill a monster. <gasps> you idiot, watch your mouth! What if her Yoma side got the best of her and turned her mad? She would have killed you and me. I'm sorry. Uh, here is the payment for your services. Please check it's all there. No. Once the job is complete, a representative will come by to collect it. I can't accept payment myself. Okay, whatever you say. It means if I fail you and die in the process, you are not obligated to pay any money. Oh, I understand. So what do you think? Will you be able to find the Yoma today? Maybe tomorrow? Of course, that will depend on the Yoma. If it's taking extra care to hide its yoki, then it could prove difficult. Eventually. Either its corpse or my own will turn up in the streets of your village. That's your only certainty. Honey! That... that's my first Claymore. I was expecting her to be more human-like, but she looked... like a... like a monster. I do. I was only walking behind you. Wait up a sec. You're a Claymore, right? No. What? Claymore is the name we were given. Given by you people. Our organization actually has no name. Well, don't look at me. 
But I am surprised, though. I mean, you look no different than a normal girl. I guess I just expected that you'd be a lot scarier looking. You're very strange. Do you not fear me, boy? Well, why should I? You're no different than any one of us. Uh, hey, hold on! Wait for me! Where are you going? You know, you're about to exit the village. So this is the border. That's right. The only thing you'll find past this point is the old mine. Sleeping. I've been walking for 70 hours straight. Why don't you tell me why you've taken an interest in me? Because you're a Claymore. I told you. That's just a name you people have given us. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Anyway, you're gonna kill that Yoma for us, aren't you? Parents were the first victims, the first ones killed by the Yoma. When I woke, only my big brother Zaki and I were still alive. I was... I was right there, but there was nothing I could do to save them. But that's why you're here, to avenge the death of my parents and my place. Don't misunderstand. I came here because I was assigned to do so. I have no intention of exacting revenge for you. I know that. You're here to do a job. I forgot to get dinner ready. We're staying at my uncle's house, so I like to help out since he took me in. And you may be surprised, but I'm pretty good at cooking now. I could cook you some food later. Well, see ya. Wait, what is your name? There's no point in telling you. It's a name that will soon be forgotten. Sorry, Uncle. I'll get dinner on the stove right away. Did you see this? Uncle's dead! I should know since I killed him. He was quite delicious. Zaki! No! Come on. What, you never noticed? I took over your brother's brain. Stole his body as my own. Ever since then, I've been able to replicate his speech patterns and have had control over his thoughts and memories. This is why you humans aren't capable of spawning us. I had planned to stay much longer in your little village, but you just had to send out that little silver eyed witch. So instead, I'll make you my last meal. You have no idea how hard it's been for me to hold back from devouring that frail body of yours. Oh, I'm crying. There's still remnants of your brother's memory fighting for life. Isn't brother we love touching? <laughs> What's wrong, little brother? Is dinner ready? <laughs> What a fool. We've been feeding on you humans for centuries. Even though you'd like to think otherwise. We are the top of the food chain. You're my prey, so there's no use in resisting. Smell your Yoma scent on the boy. You unwittingly led me right to your own death. <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
job already lined up. Now, about our other little problem. <laughs> Forgive us, Rocky! It's nothing personal! Can't be helped. For all we know, he's infected with Yoma too, just like his brother. We can't take that chance. I get here. Hello, you're awake. You were in pretty bad shape when you got here. You're lucky to be alive, son. Where exactly am I? You're in a little town called Egan. Did you have any idea that you've been asleep for the last 24 hours? How did you end up wandering around the wastelands like that? Bro, we know he's infected with Yoma too, just like his brother. Well, okay. I have to imagine you're starving by now. Eat up. Go ahead. But I have no money to pay for this. Don't worry about that. Everything's been paid for in advance. By who? One of them silver-eyed witches. Huh? A claymore brought you here, which is strange because they're not known for their acts of kindness, if you know what I mean. Can you tell me where she is? I think she had a job to get to. She left in a hurry. Do not fear me, boy. It's a name that will soon be forgotten. She's gone. Hey, kid. A claymore was looking around for you a bit earlier. Where'd she go? She wandered into the forest on the edge of town. Thank you. There she is. You alone? I am. It's not her. The innkeeper told me you were the one that saved my life. There's no need to thank me. But I'm just some stranger. Why would you pay for my room and food? Why are you so suspicious of my kind gesture toward your well-being? We Claymores are a benevolent organization. Besides... I've taken a liking to you. Uh, no! I don't believe you're a Claymore for a second! I know that your kind never refers to themselves as Claymores. Well, thank you. I'll be sure to remember that for the next time! What a perceptive little brat you are! Thank you. You've made my job a lot easier. Now show yourself, Claymore! I know you're out there! You've been tracking me. Come out so we can end this game. Stop! Stay where you are! I know how fast you are, Claymore. If you so much as flinch at me, I'll slice the boy's throat from ear to ear. Now toss aside your sword and no sudden movements. Do you really think a hostage will have any effect on me killing you? No. I knew it wouldn't. 
until yesterday. That's when I saw you walk into town carrying this boy as if he were your own. Seems you do have a weakness. How pathetic you care for this meat. Being half Yoma doesn't erase your past as a human. And those precious memories don't disappear when you become a Claymore. Isn't that right, witch? I'd be willing to bet that you had a little brother that looked just like this boy, didn't you? I'm right, aren't I? I can see it all over your disgusting face. Go ahead, make a move. That is if you can actually find the courage to kill me and this human. <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> I'll be sure to end this quickly! It's time to die! <laughs> I've never eaten Claymore before! I look forward to it! I think I'll feast on you and the boy! <sighs> Help? I'm sorry. It's my fault. Listen up. I didn't throw away my sword just to save you. Back there, if I had tried to save you and kill her, you would have wound up dead and she would have easily gotten away. My only option was to prevent her escape and put her in a position where a swift kill was attainable. But that doesn't change the fact that you saved my life. For the second time, because you killed the Yoma that ate my family. When my mom and dad were killed, I was so afraid. But I tried. I tried to act tough the whole time. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I really am. I'll never forget you for as long as I live. I just wanted you to know that. Were you banned from your village? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I, I told them I wasn't a Yoma, but they wouldn't listen. They just got rid of me. Did you say you were a good cook? Uh huh. Good. If you agree to be my cook, you can come along. Why don't you join me until we can find a new village for you to settle in? Where are you going? I still don't know your name. Let's tell each other our names. My name's Rocky. What's yours? It's Claire. I like that name.
final wish, the final prayer, as a testament to the friendship we shared. Next time, the black card.